You might not be familiar with the fourth largest cell phone producer in the world, but Oppo's growing following of customers is. Big tech is at the heart of the sustainability challenge, and Oppo prides itself with a number of ambitious sustainability goals, including a plan to reduce its carbon footprint and its own research institute to spearhead innovation. I'm Andrew Wilson, and I sat down with the head of Oppo Research Institute, Jason Lau, here at COP28. So tell me, you know, it, how interesting for you as an innovator to come to uh, COP28? It's very interesting. Uh, I see that uh, sustainability requires a lot of innovation, so that uh, within the COP28 conference, I see many action items and uh, stakeholders coming together and working towards uh, solutions. Uh, there's uh, government level discussions and there are private sector uh, actions as well as uh, many NGOs here. Uh, so very interesting for me to okay. be here. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's talk about it some more in the studio. Uh -huh. yeah? Sure, okay. I'd be happy to. Jason, great to see you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me, Andrew. First of all, let, tell us a bit about yourself, Jason, your work and your work at the Institute. Sure. I have been working in the tech and consumer electronics industry for over 20 years. And I joined OPPO in 2005, currently serving as the head of OPPO Research Institute. Uh, it is an organization within OPPO to develop uh, pioneering technologies for the long-term development of the company. And uh, over the years in my career, I saw a lot of uh, innovations related to sustainability development. And I also see that climate change is changing our life uh, day by day. So uh, I see that with the technology and innovation, it's changing the way we do our business uh, as well as the product that we offer to consumers for better sustainability. So tell us a bit about Oppo and its product range. Certainly. Founded in 2004, Oppo is currently ranked as the fourth largest global smartphone brands, operating in over 60 countries and regions. And our products include smartphones, wearable products, as well as uh, uh, tablets and many other accessories. And innovation is at the heart of what we do at Oppo. So, we work on 5G, 6G telecommunication technologies, digital photography and image processing, AI for improving the usability of the smartphone products, as well as uh, digital health products. And some numbers can show the innovation that we put into these products. By end of September 2023, uh, Oppo has filed over 95,000 patent applications worldwide, and among those, 51,000 patents have been granted. So innovation is really at the core of what we do. And this year, we made the pledge to become carbon neutrality in our global operations by 2050. So what role do you think technology can play, in your view, in the fight against climate change? Well, technology can be both a cause and a solution for climate change. And uh, uh, you look at uh, some numbers released by the United Nations, uh, it's estimated that electronics waste will reach over 70 million metric tons by 2030. And currently only a small percentage of those are properly collected and recycled. So we see there's a big opportunity for technology to address these issues. At OPPO, I can give you an example. We developed a technology called OPPO Battery Health Engine, which can extend the battery life to over 1,600 charging and recharging cycles, uh, and still maintain over 80% of its original capacity. This really prolongs the lifespan of uh, products just like smartphones, and uh, uh, which is very important for our telecommunication industry. And in the end, users will have a product that lasts longer and uh, reduce the chance of uh, uh, producing electronic waste. 
in the end, this is all about innovation, isn't it? What are the challenges behind that innovation? Yeah, there are many challenges behind this innovation. The first one is the cost. So to develop sustainable technology, there's initial investment in research and development. And greener materials may come at a higher price in the beginning. However, we see this as all very worthwhile investment. Uh, innovation in the long run can produce better products uh, and can drive down the cost. Uh, so, and uh, secondly, uh, the challenge lies in the user's awareness and behavior. So uh, users will need the ability to identify sustainable products and uh, uh, will have to change their behavior to accept these kind of products, even sometimes may at a slightly higher price premium. Uh, so Oppo is one of the first companies to join the eco rating scheme that's developed by leading European uh, telecommunication carriers. Uh, Within this uh, scoring system, users can clearly see the sustainability uh, properties of the smartphones that they are trying to purchase. And uh, in the end, they can choose the most sustainable product that fits their need. And user awareness also comes from users' daily interaction with the technology. So at Oppo, we have over 600 million monthly active users using our ColorOS uh, smartphone operating system. So in the latest uh, ColorOS 14, we developed an uh, always-on display component on the phone's home screen called Go Green, uh, which clearly shows the uh, steps that the user takes during a day and how that related to the reduction of the CO2 emission uh, if they are taking walking rather than other types of transportation. So all these small actions together help bring users awareness and help change their behaviors. The third one is the collaboration. Sustainability is not something that a single company can do. It requires collaboration from the entire industry. So over the years, I saw a lot of uh, uh, very brilliant ideas coming from startup companies, and uh, they face the challenge of turning those ideas into actual products and solutions. That's why at Oppo, we started a program in 2022 called Oppo Inspiration Challenge. It is a technology accelerator program that's trying to bring these technology startups and give them the help they need to help them make the product into reality. And in 2023, we actually added a category called Inspiration for the Planet, calling for proposals addressing sustainability development. Tell us a bit about the Oppo Inspiration Challenge. I'm glad to. Oppo Inspiration Challenge is a technology acceleration program that we started in 2022. And this is the second year we've been running this program. This year, we added a category of uh, challenge called inspiration for the planet, calling for proposals that's aimed at sustainability and green technologies. So we ran this program from May to October and uh, called for proposals, uh, screened for the initial uh, rounds of uh, participation and uh, ran regional demo events uh, and then eventually the final demo event. So I've seen a lot of brilliant ideas in this uh, inspiration challenge. And uh, we have received over 687 proposals from participants uh, over 66 countries and regions. And among those, over 40% are aimed at technology that benefiting uh, climate actions. So. One example of this uh, startup that really impressed me is called uh, Bluefa, which is a company that aimed at reducing plastic usage in our industry. As you know, plastic is a very essential material, but it's also a huge concern uh, with the carbon production as well as the pollution. So this company is developing uh, 
totally natural uh, biotech based uh, method of manufacturing a material called Blufa PHA, which is a polymer that's totally biodegradable. And I brought over a sample of a phone case that's made by this company together with OPPO designers. So as you can see, it looks like plastic, functions like plastic, but it's not plastic. With this technology, we can see a lot of applications in many other fields as well. And uh, this really showcases a challenge this type of startups are facing. That's bringing awareness to this kind of technology and uh, moving from great concept to products. So that's why we brought them to COP28 and uh, having them showcase their technology in the exhibition zone. And they will also have a panel discussion later uh, at COP28 to talk about sustainability development. So OPPO Inspiration Challenge is indeed aiming at helping startups like Blufa to solve the challenge of funding, of uh, product uh, readiness, as well as uh, uh, the media, consumer and investor awareness of this green technologies. It's all about collaboration and partnership in the end, isn't it? This is one of the biggest gatherings in the world, COP28, where people bring their thoughts and their issues and their hopes for the future. What are your chief thoughts about COP28? What do you think is most important in the challenge of sustainability? Well, I think the most important thing is uh, everybody working together. So I'm very happy to see that so many people, so many governments, uh, NGOs, and uh, private sector companies are coming to this event, talking about uh, sustainability development, as well as uh, uh, drafting action plans. So at OPPO, our mission statement is technology for mankind and kindness for the world. This always reminds us that the goal for our innovation is to serve the people is to give the world a better place for future development. So uh, we are committed in taking actions to develop sustainable technologies, to develop technologies that improves human life, such as uh, uh, those related to accessibility, digital health, uh, carbon reduction practices. So in the end, I would like to see more business partners and uh, more companies and uh, uh, stakeholders in this industry to join us in this effort, makes this world a better place for all of us to live in. Jason, absolute pleasure. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure as well. Thank you for this opportunity to talk about the very important topics of uh, sustainability development. Mm -hmm.